Dominique Black Metal Hales. Now it's time to check out some German metal, which is almost uh, like black metal, almost like uh, Gotham Big Swedish metal. So what is this angry music all about? Uh, well, let's just forget about the angry parts. I was just fooling around as you know me. Uh, like I said, this time we go to Germany to a band called uh, Thor Messis. Um, album called The Sixth, not the most uh, imaginative uh, title out there. And to be honest, not a uh, cover that would be like, oh man, I just gotta get it. This is just so, wow. Uh, to be honest, very, very boring uh, album title and this cover art, well, not really selling it to me. But as it always is, we want to kick that prejudice some, uh, kick those prejudice ass and just take a look what this album is inside. Is the music good and all that stuff. Let's just open uh, this uh, quite nice, minimal in design and digipack. And as you can see, it's all about being white with some black dirt or dots. Here's the track list for this 45, uh, sorry, 44 minute an album. Once again, the number six is there. And as you can guess, this is their sixth album. Um, this is also their first album, uh, which is in English. All the previous albums, only in German, um, only in German titles as well. But this time, this is uh, all about um, going to international waters. Well, not all about it, because most of the lyrics are still in uh, German, as you can see. There are a couple of tracks like this one, which are in... Uh, let's see if this can zoom properly, focus. Uh, this is one of the English tracks on this album. Then again, we go back to the German language. All art is rather obscure in a way. This is not an album that's gonna just, you know, hand out its secrets and uh, messages to you like that. You actually have to read these lyrics. Unfortunately, uh, my German is very, very rusty. And to be honest, I don't have a time for uh, translation machines to go all these through. Sad but true. Day job and whatnot gives, uh, <laughs> gives so little time to go all this. But if you're interested, now it's your time to check that out. So kind of a lot nice in design. I'm kind of undecided. I mean, totally like the kind of style the label and the band has put out here. But then again, this makes its old look so hipster that it probably drives away a lot of people who would be musically um, into this kind of music. What well, is the music here? Um, this is hard, hard cookie to kind of a crack. First of all, it is kind of like black metal. Very, very melodic black metal, kind of a melancholic, kind of a catchy, even to a mainstream catchiness. And at the same time, it really doesn't feel like black metal. Uh, I'm not even talking about lyrical side here, which based on very, very little background checking what I was doing, don't exactly point to black metal style as such. But I'm talking about the music here, which is, in my opinion, more related to, say, this kind of a Gothenburg style of uh, music. I mean, talk about early In Flames, Dark Tranquility and all that stuff, and you'll find a lot of similarities here. That is very melodic, very kind of a catchy kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, obviously screamy vocals, but then again, they were never only in black metal, I mean, not exclusively that is. Uh, so those kind of a screamy vocals with this album has are not very original, they are not very particularly like good or anything like that. They are not annoying, they're just like there and doing quite okay. But they are not top-notch, they are not like, wow, this vocal guy is really cool. Uh, but they are not annoying either, they are just what they are. Hard to kind of uh, put those into word because obviously this all comes to, you know, matter of taste and whatever. Uh, so me, this sounds like a lot of those early 1990s Swedish death metal, death metal, melodic death metal bands or melodic metal like it's sometimes called, but with a different type of, um, say, atmosphere. Maybe this is a little bit darker, definitely more melancholic, kind of sad at the same time, yet at the same time also quite hopeful and kind of a like, yay, winter has passed and now it's time for spring and summer, let's go for ice cream and whatnot. No, I'm not saying this is pure cheer and happy-go-lucky kind of a music, 
but at the same time it's kind of like too happy to be kind of a black metal uh, i don't know once again does that make sense if you listen to the album it probably does but it's hard to describe so that it actually you understand right away what i'm talking about here now being black metal or not is kind of a beside the point the thing here is this album is relatively good especially if you are into a say more melodic stuff in the first place and if you're okay with kind of a raspy vocals kind of a shrieky as well sure why the hell not uh the production on this album is really clear and nice so uh if this was labeled as black metal which i wouldn't call it wrong i wouldn't just say it's like kind of like border like thing borderline thing um then on those terms it would be very very pure and clean much like the covers here it's like a as if the band wanted to have one leg inside the black metal ring or scene and the other outside, you know, staying on the verge of uh, different genres. So kind of a hybrid and at the same time also uh, sounding very familiar as such. But if you, uh, melodic melancholy is your theme, give this one a chance. I kind of like it a lot. But some of those tracks are, then again, a little bit too monotone and not that catchy. If only this album was like the best parts of it, this would be way better. Now it's on the other half, you know, quite okay. And the other, other half is like, just great. So this stands somewhere in between. Kind of a divided, but then again, also mixed together. So some songs are just, you know, mix of those great parts and not of those so great parts with this really confusing review i know uh i strongly suggest that if melancholic melodies are your thing go check it out and decide for yourself and if you just hate it don't bother with this one that is gonna be too hipster too different for you thank you for watching see you soon. signing